<laughs> oh! So is this whole point that he's just a psychopath? I used to be fun, dang it. I don't even like this job. My man really does not need to lose a foot, okay? Oh, Jesus. You really don't want to see that coming at you. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch that. Uh... I've been enough with this. I don't want more torture. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are getting back into more Game of Thrones. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we're watching more Game of Thrones. I'm really excited. I kind of just want to jump into another episode. I want to keep this intro really short and sweet, because I think... I tend to ramble on a lot in a lot of my intros, and I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to shorten my intros so that they're a little bit snappier and quicker. So let's just do a quick recap for those who missed the last video. So far, what has happened in this season? Well, we ended the last episode with a lot of crazy stuff happening. We saw that the men of the Night's Watch were all turning on each other and fighting at Craster's place. Sam escaped with, I believe her name is Gilly. I don't really know. Um, but with that girl and her baby, I'm kind of worried about them. I feel like they're not long for this world because Sam is kind of helpless, but I do appreciate that he saved her and got her out of that. We saw Daenerys being a badass, taking slave soldiers freeing them and then they decided to all fight for her like I kind of thought would happen when she told them they could be free. She's just such a badass because she knows when to be violent but also how to be just through that violence. So I really like her. I think she's a really compelling character to watch and I'm really happy that she's finally getting some of her power. Arya has been taken up by the Band of Brothers which is kind of concerning because apparently they worship the same Lord that Stannis does, which I, I don't like that Lord. That is a scary, scary fire Lord. <laughs> I don't like him. I'm nervous about that. Looks like Sansa is now potentially going to be betrothed to Loras Tyrell, which even though Loras doesn't swing that way, I'm really happy for Sansa because he's cute and uh, I just want something nice to happen for her. And she looked so happy. I just want her to escape King's Landing, and that's really all that matters. So if that gets her out of King's Landing, then I'm really happy for her. marjorie has been doing a great job manipulating Joffrey, although Cersei has picked up on it and uh, doesn't seem to like it. I don't know why she doesn't like it, aside from the fact that I think she just wants control over Joffrey. Um, but she doesn't have control over him anyway. So wouldn't you just want to maybe get on Marjorie's good side and try to use the fact that she's manipulating to your benefit. Like, your son is a horrible person, and when he wasn't being manipulated by her, the people hated him, and an uprising almost happened. The second that Marjorie came in, the people started to love her and therefore started to like him. I just don't understand why Cersei's so butthurt about it, except for the fact that maybe she's just jealous. I don't know. I do appreciate how complex of a character Cersei is, though, so I'll be interested to watch that unfold. Likewise, her brother Jamie is also uh, going through some <laughs> Literally, uh, he fell in mud in the last episode after losing his hand. Honestly, I said it before, I'll say it again, I'm happy to see him going through hard times because he was such an insufferable jerk <laughs> the whole first season and even in a lot of the second season. So I'm happy that he's finally having to uh, deal with some real issues and... Uh, we get to see some more vulnerable moments from him. Same thing with Theon. Theon was put through <laughs> the ringer in the last episode. Can't say he didn't deserve it, but uh, I do empathize with him a lot, despite everything he's done. But that, I think, is everything that's happened. I'm sure I'm missing some other stuff. We also did see the spider a lot in the last episode and got to see a lot of what makes him tick. I really do uh, like him for the most part, so I'm interested to see what happens between him and Littlefinger in the next few episodes. Yeah, but other than that, I don't have too much to say, and I think we should just hop on into another one. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. <laughs> I almost said <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Why are there so many people that are members of the Lord of Light? I hate it. For the night is dark and full of terror. 
Okay, okay, I don't like that. His sword just on fire from his blood? What kind of blood do you have, man? Oh, the hound is screwed and he hates fire. Oh my God, I forgot. You guys reminded me the reason he's scared of fire because Littlefinger told us his face was burned by his, his brother. This really is not fair. Oh God, he's got a face off against his biggest fear. Arya's starting to feel bad, isn't she? Oh no, she, oh, never mind. Just kidding. She's cheering for him to get killed. Arya, no! Arya, no! Burn in hell! He will. Oh, he he came back to say that. Is that guy not dead? I'm confused. Did that guy actually just come back, or is he gonna die? And he just sat up to say that. What the? F the Lord of Light is freaky, freaky. <laughs> is freaky dinky? Okay. He's no crow. Just because you want him inside, you don't make him one of us. I'm not afraid of you. Oh boy. Oh, Egret. That's her name. The second she started threatening someone, I remembered her name. Give it back. Oh, <gasps> what is she doing? Where are we? She just brought him down to a freaking hot spring. She gonna get undressed or something? We shouldn't. We should. She makes a good point. I know you don't want to because of the Night's Watch thing, but you, you just, you know, you gotta blend in, okay? Just do it. I just think the whole celibacy thing is stupid. And you guys told me that these guys got married. I wonder if they got married after the show or during or definition of a showmance, if they got married uh, during. I don't ever want to leave this gift, Jon Snow. Oh, I didn't really think she'd open up like this. This is crazy. She seems so tough, you know? I'm nervous that uh, he's gonna have to betray Egret later. Lord Bolton, I give you the Kingslayer. <laughs> Ugh, can somebody bathe him? He's really gross. Yeah, these flayed men of the House Bolton men were pretty rough. I was told you were drunk, impertinent, and thoroughly debauched. You can imagine my disappointment at finding nothing but a browbeaten bookkeeper. No. Oh. I feel like he's all upset that he was just called a boring bookkeeper. He's like, I used to be fun, dang it. I don't even like this job. I'm going to stay on in Smith for the Brotherhood. Really? Oh my God, she's losing her crew. I've never had a family. I can be your family. Oh, she doesn't want to lose another friend. Seeing how hurt she is by that, like actually made me so upset. She's going to be alone. Ah! <laughs> They're kids! Oh my god, he's killing everyone for revenge. He killed these kids. Oh no. Rob is losing control of his men. Oh, this is so bad. Escort Lord Karstark to the dungeon. Hang the rest. This one was only the Watcher. Hang him last so he can watch the others die. Whoa, Rob is getting savage. I understand him though. He feels like he, feels like he has to be because he's losing the war. He's losing control of his men. He has to die. If you do this, the cast dogs will abandon you. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, what has he decided to do? This is concerning. Kneel, my lord. Rob. Rob, this isn't the smart decision. Rob. Ro it's, it's over. Rob's gonna lose this war. <laughs> Rob, it's over for you, Rob. Oh, no. I thought he killed you. He did. It's the Lord of Light brings you back. How many times? Five, I think. What the f***? So he dies and keeps getting resurrected? Holy sh This guy has nine lives! Burn away my sins. Who is this? For the night is dark. And full of terrors. Yes, I get it. Whatever. Who is this? Is this his w original wife? A broken a sacred vow. Oh, he's telling her he cheated. No act done in service of the Lord of Light can ever be a sin. Well, that seems like a hella toxic religion then. You can just excuse anything away that the Red Witch tells you is fine. What the f is she doing up in here? She gave you a son. No, she didn't. She birthed a shadow demon that looked exactly like him and was just used for murder. Why does this woman have her dead babies in jars? She's my daughter. What? He has a daughter? He I didn't know he had a kid. Father! Why is she locked down here? Why can't he? Oh, oh, what happened? Sir Davos is a traitor. He's rotting in a dungeon cell for his crime. He didn't, he, no, no, he's not. He came back for you, Stannis, you're crazy. Best forget him. Wow, that's all you came down here for? To see her and tell her that her friend is a traitor and then leave? What a great father you are. Why is this girl locked up down here? Just cause she's got a, a burn or something on her face? She deserves to be out in the sun. What is this I'll get out. Oh, they're letting their prisoners bathe. This is kind of awkward though. There's another tub. <gasps> 
This one suits me fine. That's rude. Jamie, you're so perverted. That is not consensual, dude. Get in your other tub. It's disgusting. You all despise me, King Slayer. It's more than just that, dude. You're just, you're just shady. You say shady things to rile people up. You heard of wildfire. The Mad King was obsessed with it. He burned lords he didn't like. He burned hands for disobeyed him. Wow, lovely guy. So he had his pyromancer place caches of wildfire all over the city. Oh, God. He told me to bring him my father's head. Aww. Burn them all. Aye, aye, aye. And then when the king turned to flee, I drove my sword into his back. Wow, wow. I'm really happy that we're getting this entire moment from him, hearing exactly what happened. My problem with Jamie was never the fact that he killed a king. I mean, I know that that's why a lot of people hate him in the series. They call him Kingslayer. You think honorable Ned Stark wanted to hear my side? Jamie, you just, he did, but you could have talked to him. You also pushed his son out a window. I don't empathize with you, dude. And it may, I guess it makes me empathize with him a little bit more, but my problem is how Jamie talks to people. It's not the fact that he killed the king. You must get bored down here. Aww. I brought you something to read. Okay, so she's not totally trapped in her room. She can get out. I don't know why I thought that. My lady, I can't read the words. Aww. I'll teach you. What would they do? Lock us in cells. I love this little girl. And I like Sir Davos too, you know? Oh, here we go. The book's about the Targaryens, and here we go, cutting to Daenerys with her new army. Oh, he looks so young. Grey Worm. What a name. All right. Oh, he likes his name. He's proud of the name because he's because of Daenerys setting him free with that name. Oh! But I can attack them where they're not. And Casterly Rock can't run away. I'm going to take their home away from them. Oh, like Winterfell was taken from him. Yeah. There's only one person in this kingdom with that kind of army who hasn't already sided with the Lannisters. Who? The man whose daughter I was supposed to marry. Oh, no. Uh, that's bad. That's really bad, Rob. See, you know, if you'd just been smarter and not fought with your heart, if you hadn't killed Karstark, if you hadn't married this other girl from Volantis, you'd have more men. Oliver, if it please you. Oh, they flirting. Oh, yep, they're flirting. Oh, here we go. How do you know? I would. <laughs> you can sense it. What do you mean? And even my intended hasn't the slightest notion. Yeah, yeah, girl, well, girls have less gaydar than gay men. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, I took long enough. Seems our night of flowers is engaged to be wed. Oh, God damn it! Sansa, do not fall for this idiot. He's creeping me out, man. I'm getting, like, pedophile vibes because of their age gap. Maybe it would be better to wait. You've been so kind, I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. You really shouldn't, Sansa. This girl's so naive, man. She's so naive. She doesn't know that Loras is gay, and she can't see what Peter is doing either. Ugh. The young wolf has lost half his army. His days are numbered. That makes Sansa Stark the heir to Winterfell. And I am not about to hand her over to the Tyrells. Oh, boy. We find Sansa Stark a different husband. Wonderful. What is that? Did, did, are they saying him? <laughs> are they saying him? <laughs> He's like, she's too young for me. Oh, my God. Cersei, her little smirk. She is so petty. Poor Tyrion. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, it's better than Baelish marrying her. You'll marry Sir Loras. What? No, I won't do it. But you will. What? Holy sh She's already done this. She was already the queen. She already did that for you. Wow, he really just uses his children as chess pieces. He has no respect for their sovereignty or their opinions or thoughts at all. I mean, granted, like a lot of his kids are pretty insufferable, but I feel bad. What a, what a weird... <laughs> Is this actually gonna happen, guys? <laughs> Did they make it to the wall al already? Is this the wall? Did they get there before Sam? You ever climbed it before? No. Wow, they're gonna climb it, like scale it? <laughs> you're loyal and you're brave. Oh, she knows. You didn't stop being a crow the day you walked into Matt's Raider's tent. 
she just loves him, so she just let, wow. She liked him so much, she didn't tell a secret. Well, I'm your woman now, Jon Snow. Jesus Christ. You're going to be loyal to your woman. Holy <laughs> Oh my God, this is just crazy. She keeps oscillating between being really sweet and open and vulnerable and being a psycho. <laughs> Keep your elbow high. Yeah, I took archery at a camp one time. I did archery for a summer. There's someone out there. Oh yeah. Wow, she spotted them before they were even really coming down the road. Oh, <gasps> it's not Lady, it's Lady Melisandra. Begging your pardon, my lady. It's gay mo laxir teptas. Roberti dari zihi ne kepti sex yot on your gemagon. Oh, he was supposed to turn King Robert and it didn't work. Oh God, what is she gonna do? I don't trust her. You have someone he needs. Who? It better not be Arya, that doesn't, uh. <gasps> What are you doing? Gendry? Oh my God, is she taking him because he's indirectly related to Stannis because he's Robert's son and she needs his blood? Oh God, I just hope she doesn't kill him. You're a witch. You're going to hurt him. Uh-oh. I see a darkness in you. Oh no. And in that darkness, eyes staring back at me. Eyes you'll shut forever. Yeah, the people she's gonna kill? We will meet again. Man, Arya's so brave man she just tells it like it is i love her oh there they are climbing the wall this looks like fun you really don't want one of them to fall that's up ahead of everybody and accidentally knock other people down they're really using like rudimentary climbing tools too i mean i know this is basically what climbers use but their tools just look scarier and not as nice as like modern day technology but i know it's really just the same kind of thing axes and crampons oh that's horrifying i hate rock climbing man i couldn't do this i actually couldn't do this just seeing if you can take a hit lad ha 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 jesus christ yeah, what's this guy's deal? Why did we go through this circle jerk experiment with Theon? Like, I gotta know what's going on here. I've seen him before in other stuff too. I recognize this actor. So let's play a game. Oh wow, he's really psychotic. Which body part do you need the least? Uh, all, all of them. Uh, what, I mean, none of them. Uh, what? How about your little finger? You don't use that for much, do you? I don't really want to watch this, even though I don't like Theon. You win the game if you can figure out who I am. Oh, Jesus. Where are we? Deepwood Mott. Terrible guess. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch that. Ah. Hold. How did you know that? Because he guessed two other places and they were wrong. This guy has massive crazy eyes. And who am I? Torrin Castor. He was your brother. Really? He guessed that right? Oh, shit. So he's probably not too happy with Rob right now. That's why you're torturing me. I don't know why he's torturing you, actually, Theon. Oh, God. You forgot to ask if I'm a liar. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I don't want this. I don't want to hear it. I don't like it. I don't want to look at it. Ah. Everything I told you was a lie. But, well, one reason ah! I enjoy it. Oh, God. So is this whole point that he's just a psychopath? Oh, Jesus. Lord Frey requires a formal apology. He demands Harrenhal and all its attendant lands. And there's something else. Oh boy, is he gonna ask for the woman that he married? Our father requires Lord Edmure to wed one of his daughters. Lord Frey is ridiculous, man. I can't believe, Rob, you done screwed up. You done screwed up this other guy's life now because you didn't do what you were supposed to do and you just followed your heart. Blah. He's a proud man and we've wounded him. You wounded him, Rob, not we, you. It's all your fault and this is why you're losing the war. I'm annoyed with Rob right now. I'll marry him. You're paying for my sins, uncle. Oh, that's his uncle? Are they both his uncles? I should send you back to Rob Stark. <laughs> you should. Yeah, what is this guy up to? Many people would pay a great deal for you. I thought this guy was on Rob's side. What's happening? I will allow you to go to King's Landing, and you will swear to tell your father the truth, that I had nothing to do with your maiming. Oh, she won't be going with you. The f are they gonna do with her? What are they gonna do with Brienne? Your daughter is rich. Old. Oh, I love her. I love her. The only thing that might turn it are details of your grandson's nocturnal activities. Oh. Do you deny them? No, oh, not at all. A sword swallower through and through. <gasps> A sword swallower! Brothers and sisters. 
She's pulling out the big guns. She doesn't want Loras getting uh, entangled with Cersei. These two are formidable together. If you refuse to marry Loras to Cersei, I will name him to the king's guard. Yeah, they're not allowed to have land or have kids, right? <sighs> Shall I draw up the order, or do you consent to this match? Shouldn't you be asking him? I hate that this is like, I, I know that this was a thing back in the day. They made arrangements for people. Wow, I love her, man. I love her. She don't take no Tywin just has the upper hand, so it's unfortunate. But it's just a bummer that Loras can't be involved in the conversation. Like, it's his life. <laughs> Egret. Okay, that's a little, that's a little, that's a little ridiculous. That is a little ridiculous. I'm sorry. Egret! We gotta cut them loose! No, he's not going to. It's Jon Snow. We're not gonna cut them loose. Come on, John! Oh my god, e I don't want Egret to die either, though. It would be like absolutely tragic. Oh my god, this is horrible. Holy shit. that one thing took out most of their men. Egret, do not fall. Do not fall, you. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is not a fun job. I don't like this. Oh, she just gets right back at it. Whoo! It's more brooch, really. Oh, you guys shouldn't even bother. This is it's not gonna happen, guys. I don't suppose there's anything we can do about this. Ugh, Tyrion doesn't want to marry Sansa either. We can have them both killed. <laughs> we can have them both killed. Who's going to tell her? Is Shay gonna have to tell Oh, he hasn't even told Shay yet either. Oh god! Lady sounds a little Tyrion to see you. Oh god. And Shay's here too. Oh god. It's all right, really. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is awkward. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, don't cut away. I want to see it, damn it. This angers me. That's my bread and butter. I want to see that awkward conversation happen. I'm disappointed. But your confidant. Roz, what did he do to Roz? He killed Roz. He killed Roz. He killed Roz. I have a friend who wants to try something new. I really am not a fan of this actor's voice acting, I'm not gonna lie. It just sounds so put on that it's distracting. Chaos is a ladder. Ooh. Oh no, did he give Roz to Joffrey? The fall breaks them. <gasps> the climb is all there is. The climb! Well, that, that, that's some good writing right there. I did appreciate that monologue. Oh, the sun came out, that's nice. She gets to look out at the top of the wall now. After she killed the rest of their crew. <laughs> I know it was an accident, but still. They survived the climb. Oh, so they didn't, she didn't kill everyone. She just killed a large group. Oh, they're gonna kiss in front of everybody? Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I bet he feels a lot more bonded to her <laughs> now that he's saved her life. <sighs> Probably means Egret's gonna die at some point. Oh, Frey will win. He knows we're coming. Yeah, they're on their way back to Walder Frey. What is Rob gonna do? Oh, he didn't even wait for his mother to leave. Oh, God. I feel like Lady Stark is so disappointed in her son because he didn't do what needed to get done. Their relationship just annoys me now because it's losing him the war. <laughs> How am I supposed to sit here planning a war when you're over there looking like that? Exactly. Exactly. She's distracting you. I know she'd love to meet you and her grandchild. Oh God, they're all happy. And I'm like, dang it, this is more of a distraction. I think he loves you, is that it? Is this guy jealous? Does he like Egret? Is that really what his beef is? I feel like his beef is that he saw the future and doesn't trust Jon Snow because of it. But I think he's also maybe jealous and loves Egret. You're jealous. Of course I'm jealous. Oh, he admitted it. You won't love him so much when you find out what he really is. Oh yeah, that's why he's pissed. He saw something in the future or whatever when his eyes were all rolled back and He's a Lannister. Far from the worst Lannister, wouldn't you say? That is true. He's probably the best Lannister. Here I am complaining to you. <laughs> here I am complaining to you, the one who's with the psychopath, yeah. <laughs> oh God, here we are with Joffrey on the throne. What's gonna happen? I'm scared. So if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand. Uh oh, oh boy, what's about to happen? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is, this is tense. We could arrange to have you carried them. <laughs> oh! The way he climbed all those steps before he said that line was so intimidating. Tell me about the Targaryen girl. Curiosities on the far side of the world are no Oh, 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Joffrey is right for once. Joffrey's actually right. And the weird thing is a lot of these people like think they're so high and mighty and they can just ignore White Walkers and can ignore Tales of Dragons. And in reality, these are all things that should actually concern them. It's crazy. How many slaves are there in Yunkai? 200,000. Oh my God, so many slaves. She wants to free them all, doesn't she? Oh, are they, is, is this them? Yunkai. So I guess maybe they're coming to surrender. I would not be comfortable being carried like this. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had a big lunch today. You may approach. Sit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he looks scared. <laughs> I would be too. For the Silver Queen. Oh, what are these gifts? Oh my God. A ton of gold? Sail them back to Westeros where you belong and leave us to conduct our affairs in peace. Yeah, they just don't want you to take all their slaves and burn their city, except she feels bad for the slaves. You will release every slave in Yunkai. Oh, he's not gonna like this. Perhaps we'll make a slave of you as well. Oh. Take the gold. Oh, this poor guy. Wait, oh God. Oh wait, don't hurt the slave, man. Don't hurt them, don't hurt them. You gave it to me, remember? <gasps> oh Jesus, she's scary as f now guys am i invited to your wedding uh she's a beautiful girl you said so yourself oh, it's coming back around to bite him in the ass he really didn't want to do it shay i will buy you a good home uh, somewhere in the city she just wants to be with you though like a real couple i'm not your lady you are oh i'm your whore damn it's sad to see them go through this but like it's a tough situation that taiwan put them in they're right outside of king's landing what are they doing here your blood is noble he really doesn't know. He's got no idea. Your father was a king, dude. Your father's house. He really, oh wow, he had no idea. There is power in a king's blood. Oh God, she's gonna turn Gendry now. I don't like this. I just like Gendry being humble and is she gonna try to turn him into a king instead of Stannis now? I just, ugh, I don't need it. The red god is the one true god. He's not my one true god. Who's yours? Death. Oh, she getting dark too. She's been dark like this whole time, but she's really embracing it now. What do you say, boys? Time for a lion hunt. But what about River Run? It's not south, it's west of here. Arya, they're not even at River Run anymore. They're on their way to Walder Frey. But now. She's gonna run. Yep, there she goes. Oh God, Arya. Oh my God, is she really getting away? Oh boy, I'm so worried for her. She doesn't have a sword or anything anymore. Kick all you like, wolf girl. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry for the screaming. I know I need a compressor, I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, f that's probably the worst person to have gotten her. The hound does not like her. Oh God. You're to remain here with Locke. Oh Jesus, with the guy that they traveled here with that was brutal. When Catelyn Stark released you, we both made a promise to her. Yeah, she wants you to get Sansa back. I swear it. You better be real, dude, Jamie. Okay, you better be 100% serious or I'm gonna hate you forever. Wow, this is like the first person he's been really vulnerable with and like has seen him for who he really is, you know? I'm like bummed that they're going their separate ways because I feel like his walls are gonna come up again. Don't you worry about your friend. Oh God, Lady Brienne. Uh, we're back with freaking Theon. I don't even want to see Theon right now with all the tort. Ah, gross. Ah, I hate this so much. Damn it, if I was him, I'd be like, can you just kill me already? Who are these women? What the hell? There's no one here but you, me and Violet. Oh no, guys, I don't, I don't trust this at all. Don't let them touch it, Theon. <laughs> Don't let them touch it, no. Don't let them touch it, Theon. Nobody is here to take care of you. I don't wanna, I don't want them to cut it off. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I've been through enough with this. I don't want more torture. Theon, don't get too comfortable. I'm scared, man. I am so scared. Cause why the f are they here? What is happening? Guys, I'm, I don't trust this. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, maybe his form of torture is giving him blue balls and maybe he's not gonna cut it off. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say it's your most precious part? Who let this guy be in charge? Like, why can't they just kill him? Why are they just torturing him like this? It's it's so weird. And how did he get so many people on board to torture him? I don't want to see this. No, no. Oh my God, you guys, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Oh God, thank God they cut away. Oh Jesus. Like, I don't like Theon, but I'm not that dark, man, okay? I would have gone for an honorable beheading <laughs> over this slow motion torture. We're not going to Castle Black. What did you say? Bran needs to find the raven beyond the wall. Oh no. Beyond the wall? None of you know. None of you been up there. Oh, uh, Osha. 
She just really doesn't want to go back to the wall. I can't blame her. I had a man once. Oh. I knew he'd come back, and he did. As a zombie? His skin was pale. He came at me, grabbed me by the neck. Oh, that's so traumatizing. I had to burn our hut down with him inside. I promised your maester I'd get you to Castle Black and no further. But that's not where John is. And also, yeah, Bran, why does what why, why does he have to go beyond the wall? I know the crow is saying that, but that just seems like such a scary idea. I don't want to do it. Oh! Oh, this guy came with him. That's good. So why did the Citadel take your chain? Do you fondle one boy too many? Sassy Jamie's back. <laughs> Lord Selwyn Tarth offered 300 gold dragons for his daughter's safe return. Locke won't take it. He's convinced Lord Tarth owns all the sapphire mines in Westeros. Oh, Jesus. Jamie really doesn't, he can't hear this. He cares about Brienne now. We have to return to Harrenhal. Absolutely not. When my father sees me, the first thing he's going to ask is what happened to my hand? And I'm going to tell him this man chopped it off. I had no Oh, I could tell him this man saved my life. Mm hmm. Jamie's very good at manipulating very quickly. <laughs> okay, I'm really happy he's going back for Brienne, but like, what is he gonna do? He can't fight with his other hand. And like, Lord Bolton's not gonna be that happy when he hears that you took Brienne when she was supposed to stay. But also, like, I'm happy he's going back for her because she doesn't deserve bad treatment. <laughs> Oh my god, she's already been clawed. That makes me happier than all her sapphires. This guy's awful. This guy deserves to die. Oh Jesus, you really don't want to see that coming at you. Oh my god! Brian! Jamie! He he jumped in there without a sword? Get behind me. You will not! She's so stubborn. I will not get behind you. This poor bear, though. This poor bear. Oh my god, oh my god, Jamie! Wow! Jamie, wow! Ah! My man really does not need to lose a foot, okay? He really doesn't. Ah! I was not expecting to see a grizzly bear. What the f Jesus. What a horrible, horrible method of torture. Sorry about the sapphires. <laughs> Whew! I thought that guy was gonna cut off his other hand or something. <laughs> I was scared. God, let the poor bear go. Bear deserves to be out in the wild. I'm really happy to be seeing the character development that we've seen for Jamie thus far, because first two seasons, let me tell you, like you could tell he was hiding a lot, but because he had so many walls up, um, it, I just hated him. Every time he talked, I wanted him to shut up. <laughs> so now seeing him have a lot more vulnerability this season, hearing his story about why he has those walls up in regards to being called the Kingslayer all the time and seeing him actually fight to protect somebody else, not for any personal gain, just because he feels like he needs to and wants to and cares about that person, really does make me like him a lot more and want to watch him more. It's interesting because you start off this whole series with just the Lannisters being these horrible people, just awful. Like Joffrey's awful from the start. Cersei and Jaime are annoying from the start, even though they're complex, you know, they're getting it on with each other and that's kind of gross and they push Bran out a window and it just, Cersei kills a dog in the next episode. So you really start off this series just despising the Lannisters and as the series has progressed, I still don't like them, but I don't really want any of them to die except for Joffrey. <laughs> so um, actually that's not true. I might be okay with Tywin dying. I don't really like Tywin. I don't think he's uh, an easy character to root for. I think his uh, motivations are kind of vain because they're all based on family name and legacy and it seems very ego-driven to me and I don't really appreciate the fact that he doesn't respect any of his kids' sovereignty or their own opinions or ideas or really treat them uh, in loving ways at all. And I think that, you know, probably the years have hardened him, the wars have hardened him, and him losing his wife probably didn't help because the kids didn't really have a mother for very long, especially Tyrion. He never had a mom. So I think that maybe the kids would have been better off if the mom was still in the picture and they maybe would have softer hearts. But yeah, the Lannister children, in terms of 
Tywin's kids are very empathetic, I think, for the most part. Um, but then they also have moments where I completely hate them and want them to shut up. And <laughs> mainly Cersei and Jaime, not so much Tyrion. But Tywin is a piece of work, and I, uh, ugh, he's he's very intimidating. I will say, uh, the actor playing Tywin does a great job because I'm very intimidated by him. I really enjoyed the fact that in this episode we got to see a scene between him and Joffrey. It's like the old, the older generation of ruling and the younger and seeing how they face off when they're both formidable, intimidating characters, but one is young and frantic and maybe doing it a bit more for show and the other, it's just <laughs> purely how he carries himself over all the years. So I really did appreciate that scene. We have three episodes left of this season and I'm really excited to see what happens. Arya is with the Hound now, which is really scary. I don't know what the Hound is going to do. I imagine that he would want to use her to his benefit, but I don't know how he would do that unless he plans on going back to King's Landing, but that doesn't really make sense to me. Still wondering when that Red Wedding is going to be. Part of me really wants it in this season, but I feel like it might not happen in this season or we'd be hearing more about it. So it might be a next season thing. I'm just really excited because I've heard the Red Wedding mentioned so many times. I know it's going to be a gruesome event just by the name of the title. So uh, I'm excited for that when it does happen. I definitely find myself getting more invested in a lot more characters now. So that's pretty cool. And I'm excited to see how the rest of this show progresses. But for now, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more stuff like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.